Welcome back into your Louisiana Go Nation. I am Justin Boucher and he is Brian Holland. And Brian, last time we talked about McNeese, LSU sent them home packing with a big L. Yeah, and we were also talking about Coach O's son uh, getting smacked around a little bit there against LSU with a wincing from the sideline. In his return trip to Baton Rouge, by the way, he got really took some licks as well. Jaguars hosting the Cowboys. Southern trying to avenge its 2019 loss there in Lake Charles. Opening kickoff. This is not a good sign for the boys in gray. Mason Pierce going to chuck the deuces, take to the house. That is a house call 7-0 just like that in the opening quarter. Yikes. And then second, Southern leading 14-10. And fooled everyone, including the cameraman, Ladarius Skelton, to a wide open Ethan Howard. That's a good play when you draw it up like that, and everyone in the stadium <laughs> knows it's 21-10, but don't know really how it happened. Yep, second half just goes from bad to worse. First drive of the quarter, Skelton throws a pick, mm. and Wallace with the INT Cowboys take over, and the ensuing play, Hutterson pounds his way in for a 13-yard score, jacks up 21-17 still, but Southern hanging on one-point lead. Cody Ogeron hits former Dunham star. Josh Matthew for the go-ahead score. Southern falls 31-24. Our Go Nation's Jared Paul Joseph has more from the blow. Penalties. You know, you can't have drive-stopping penalties. So you can't play behind the sticks, if you will. First and 15, that's not favorable for us. We're not built like that. Interim head coach Jason Rollins highlights what cost the Jaguars the game in the second half. Penalties. Coupling that with turnovers, the Golden Blue could not keep the Cowboys out of the end zone. Southern gave up 21 unanswered points, leading to their second loss of the season. It's terrible. Yeah, it's terrible. Like, ain't nothing else to describe it. It's just terrible. You know, like, we came out there. We was fighting definitely in the first half. We fought in the first half. And I don't, you know, just like everybody been saying, the penalties just put us behind the sticks from offense. That's why we got out of the groove. Like, it's a terrible feeling, though. The turning point for Southern's defense came in the third quarter. The Jaguars had a chance to sack quarterback Cody Orgeron, but the McNeese signal caller escaped and converted for a first down. The play was the momentum swing of the ball game. We wish we would have had that because, you know, once he's down, it's fourth down. Either they're kicking the field goal or they're going for it on fourth. And then if they go for it, we stop them and it's our ball. We just have to, you know, maintain and keep a level head and make sure that we play the next play. It went from uh, putting them on the fringe of maybe, maybe a field goal or or you don't know, or having to go for it on fourth. But that was a big play, a big momentum. We have to make those plays. Saturday was the Jaguars' last home game for the next month. The Golden Blue Star Conference play on the road against Mississippi Valley next weekend. Covering Southern football for your Go Nation, I'm Jared Paul Joseph.